Panda Hop presents how to make this anemone bracelet and earring set. For the bracelet, you will need about 35 grams of size 6 seed beads, 20 grams of size 11 seed beads, two 1 mm crimp beads, a lobster claw clasp and a tag, a beading needle and thread, 0.1 mm in diameter is recommended, a bead stop, beading wire 0.19 inch in diameter is recommended, a thread conditioner, glue, crimping pliers, wire cutters, a ruler, and a pair of scissors. The first step is to cut your wire and attach a clasp. Cut your beading wire to about 12 inches. Slide on a crimp bead and your clasp. Then slide the wire end back through the crimp, forming a loop. Secure the crimp bead with your crimping pliers. The next step is to string on the core beads and attach a bead stop. String on the size 6 seed beads. Conceal the wire end by the clasp with the beads. Continue adding your beads until you reach about 7 inches. These beads will be referred to as the core beads. Then just attach a bead stop. Step 3. Prepare your string and make the anemone bead stitch. Cut your string to a comfortable length and then condition it. Thread your needle. Slide your needle through the first bead. When you have about a 3 inch tail, tie a couple knots around the bead. Now slide your needle up through the next core bead. String on two size 6 seed beads and three size 11 seed beads. Slide the needle back through the two size 6 seed beads. Then slide the needle back through the same core bead. Make another fringe. Slide on two size 6 and three size 11 seed beads. Slide the needle back through the two size 6 seed beads.
and then back through the same core bead. Again, make another fringe the same way. On the fourth fringe, slide on the same beads, then slide the needle back through the two size 6 seed beads, and then through the same core bead, but also through the next core bead. Repeat all the steps for the anemone stitch until you reach the second to the last of your core beads. Step 4. Attach the tag and seal the knots. Carefully remove the bead stop. Slide on a crimp bead and the tag. Then slide the wire end back through the crimp and a couple core beads. Secure the crimp with crimping pliers. Then trim the excess wire close to the core bead. Apply a touch of glue to your knots and trim the excess string. For the earrings, you will need two ear wires, two one inch head pins, 32 size 6 seed beads, 36 size 11 seed beads, a needle and thread, 0.1 millimeter in diameter is recommended, wire cutters, round nose pliers, a pair of scissors, glue. The first step is to prepare the thread. Cut a comfortable length of thread, and then thread your needle. Slide on a size 6 seed bead. And then tie a couple knots around the bead. The second step is to make the bead stitch. Make the anemone stitch again, slide on two size 6 seed beads and three size 11 seed beads.
Slide the needle back through the two size 6 seed beads and the one core bead. Make another fringe by first stringing on two size 6 seed beads and three size 11 seed beads. Then slide the needle back through the two size 6 seed beads and the one core bead. Again, make another fringe using two size 6 seed beads and three size 11 seed beads. Then slide the needle back through the two size 6 seed beads and the same core bead. Repeat until you have 6 fringes in total. Even though the bracelet had 4, we want 6 for the earrings. Tie a couple knots around the core bead to finish off the string. Apply a touch of glue to the knots and then trim the excess string. Step 3. Attach to the head pin and the ear wire. Slide the core bead on a head pin. Then slide on 3 more size 6 seed beads. Form a loop at the top of the head pin. Trim any excess wire. Then attach the ear wire and close the loop. Repeat all the steps for a second earring. This video is brought to you by Panda Hall please visit our website at www.pandahall.com.